if you would like to see a therapist online for help with anxiety, I invite you to contact me and tell me more about yourself and how I can help you and then we can schedule a session via Skype to help you overcome your anxiety. So many people these days really like the convenience of online therapy for their anxiety. Um, it's much easier and it's also just as effective as long as you use um, a video platform like Skype. If you can see each other, then the effectiveness of communication is just as good as it is seeing a therapist in person. So if you'd like to see an online therapist for help with generalized anxiety disorder or social anxiety disorder or OCD or for agoraphobia or any other form of anxiety, um, then please email me and we can schedule a, a, a session at a time that works for you. The style of psychotherapy that I offer via Skype is called mindfulness therapy and this is particularly effective for anxiety. Basically during the online sessions I will teach you how to apply mindfulness for working with your anxiety and for neutralizing those anxiety reactions that have become habitual. We do this by actually learning how to meditate on our emotions and our thoughts using mindfulness meditation, where we make the emotion the central focus of your meditation. We learn how to build a relationship with your uh, emotions whereby you uh, do not react or identify with those emotions but are able to sit with the emotion in very much the same way that you would be able to sit with a child that was in pain. In order to be comforting to the child and help the child you need to be able to sit with the child without becoming reactive. And that's the first stage of mindfulness training. We call this developing equanimity, which simply means that you can sit with your emotions without becoming reactive in that same way. When you can do that, then you can respond to the anxiety or other emotions that you have detected that feed that anxiety uh, in a way that helps them heal. So the first step is not making the anxiety worse by reacting to it. The second stage is learning how to respond to your anxiety with compassion, how to help that anxiety heal. And one of the primary ways we do this is by building that very relationship itself, a relationship between your true self and the emotion, which we often call the little self. When that anxiety feels the presence of your true self, then that facilitates the healing and resolution of that anxiety. In most cases the real uh, reason why the anxiety does not heal is because it becomes isolated uh, from your true self and that is similar to um, the situation in which a child is abandoned and isolated from its parents. It needs its parents in order to overcome its own fear and to grow in a healthy way. And so it is with our emotions. Typically they become isolated and cut off from our true self 
and this prevents them healing. So during mindfulness meditation, we strive to re-establish this relationship between your true self, the observer, and the emotion itself. This is the first stage of mindfulness therapy for anxiety. And there are many other aspects of uh, mindfulness therapy for anxiety, uh, which you can learn about by spending more time on my uh, website and reading more of the pages there and watching more of the videos on my website. But if you'd like to get started uh, with me and see for yourself just how effective um, online mindfulness therapy is for treating anxiety, then simply email me and we can schedule a Skype therapy session for your anxiety. Most people see results within the first three to four sessions. The mindfulness approach is extremely effective for treating anxiety. So if you'd like to see an online therapist for help with your anxiety and you like the mindfulness approach that I am uh, specialized in and teach you during the online therapy sessions, then simply reach out to me via email and let's schedule an online therapy session. Thank you.